Now everyone, so the next thing we will talk about with respect to trees is traversing the tree. And traversing is a fancy name for visiting all of the nodes in the tree, okay? Uh, traversing you can do to any tree. Um, we're gonna apply it to our binary search tree. Specifically, we are going to do a depth first traversal. Now depth first means that we are gonna go down the tree to the leaf nodes in some way, shape, or form, and kind of like go down and then come back up a little and go back down again and come back up a little and go down, right? So we're going down and then up and down and up and down. Uh, there's another kind of traversal called breadth first traversal where you go row by row, okay? We're not gonna worry about that. We don't need to do that in this course. You will experience it in uh, your algorithms course though. Um, so traversal, again, it is visiting the, every node in the tree, but there are a couple of different orders in which you can visit these nodes, and each order that you visit them in has a different purpose, okay? Um, the easiest one to understand is the in-order traversal of the tree, okay? So in a binary search tree, this basically means going from left to right, okay? And if you do that, then what will happen is you will get the keys of the tree or the values of the tree in their sorted order out, okay? So what it means to visit something in order is first you visit the left child of the tree, then you visit the root, and then you visit the right child, okay? And the algorithm is defined recursively, right? So um, for example, when we want to, so, and, and every time we visit a node, we are going to do something like print out its value. Okay. So that's why we're doing traversals next is we want to be able to print out our trees. Okay. So an in order traversal is going to give us a tree printed out in order of its values. Okay. So how does in order traversal work? Let's just kind of take a look. We visit the left subtree, then the root, then the right, okay? So when we start our traversal though, because this is gonna be a recursive algorithm, we have to start at the root. That's the only thing that we know about is the root. Left tree first, then then you know the middle, and then the right subtree, okay? So we start here, visit the left, okay? We go left by calling recursively and in order traversal. Okay, now we're here. What's our in order traversal? It says visit the left, middle, right. Okay, go left. Here, left, middle, right. Go left. Okay, we're at the left. All right, go left again. Ah, but there is no left. So now we visit the middle, the current node, AK. So let's say we print it. All right, print this, go right. There is no right. All right our recursive call has hit its base case. We're done. We visited all these, the children here. We're at a leaf. So we go back up. We just did this left. Now we're at the middle. Print it. Go right. Print this. No children. Come up. We've already done left, middle, right. So we go back up here. We're at the middle of this guy now. We visited his entire left subtree. So we print GA, and then traverse the right subtree. Go down here. No left, print the middle, All right? Okay, come back up here. All right, we've done left, middle, right of this guy, so our recursive call returns up, and we're at Kansas. We've done the whole left subtree, do the middle, and now we come in here and we go left, middle, right for this guy again. Okay, so Kansas, we'll go down to Pennsylvania, the right left of Pennsylvania, LA, uh, then to the right of LA and to the left, come up, print this, and on and on and on. Okay, so left, middle, right. That is a in-order traversal. Really good for printing the contents of the tree in order. There are other traversals. Pre-order. Pre-order means we do something with the middle first, the root, and then the left and the right. Okay, so the, a pre-order traversal would be Kansas, then Georgia, then Connecticut, then Arkansas, 
right? And, and we're doing these in order though. So we actually like print out KS, now come here, print out GA, now come here, print out CT, now come here, print out AK, come back up, print out DE, come back up, come back up, now print out HI, come back up, now come back up, now print out KS, now PA, now LA, so et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's just in order, pre-order, post-order, it depends on when do you do that thing to the middle, to the kind of current node's value. Pre-order says visit the root first, then the left, and then the right. Post-order says go left, go right, and then do the middle, okay? Pre-order traversals, you copy the tree. You basically rebuild it. Uh, kind of in the order it was made. You make this from left to right. Post order, you go all the way down to the note, the leaves and start deleting them. So you like crop it from the bottom up, right? So take a minute and practice your pre-order, in order and post order traversals. Make sure you understand them by applying them to this tree. Okay, so pause the video now, and then we'll come back, we'll give you the answers. All right, so an in-order traversal of this tree. Remember, in-order is you visit left, middle, right. Okay, that's in-order traversal. So an in-order traversal of this tree, you are always going to start at the root. So we go left, left. Okay, there is no left from three. Okay, so three is the leftmost, then we print out the middle, three, and then we go right. This guy has no children, so he gets printed out, three, four. Okay, we come back up. Now we're at the middle here, we're at the middle of this subtree. Okay, so we print out five, and then we go right. Right has no children, so we print it. Left, middle, print right, no child, come back up. Okay, now we're at the middle of the whole tree. We're at the root. So we print it out, eight. Okay, left, middle, right, go right. Left, nothing there, middle, 11. Right, okay, come down here. Do it again, left, middle, 15. Right, there is none. So this is it. Right? The in-order traversal is in order of the values. Now let's do pre-order. Pre-order says you visit the middle first, the root, then the left, then the right. Okay, so let's do that. Okay. So middle first, so we're gonna print eight, then go left, All right, go down visit here, and we start over. Middle, five, and we go left. 3, middle, there is no left, and then we go right, okay, middle is 4, no left, no right, we're done, we come back up, we've done middle left right here, we come back up, we're at 5, we've already done the middle, we've done the left, now we go right, down to 7, okay, print out 7, 7 has no left and right, alright, come back up, now we're here at eight. We've already done middle, left. Now we go right, down to 11, and then down to 15, okay? So that's pre-order traversal, right? And so look at the way this was built up. We went here, 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 kind of built this side up, then we added this, this, this. Great for copying the tree, right? Finally, post order. We go left child, right child, middle, okay? So left, right, middle, um, what does that look like? Okay, we go left, go left, there is no left, all right? We go right, down here, left, right, middle, left, right, neither left or right, now we finally do the middle. So first thing we print out is four, four, come back up, left, right, middle, three, come back up, 
left, right. So now we descend, we're here. We've done the left side here. Now we gotta do the right side. Seven, left, right, middle, nothing there. Now, finally, we can do the middle here. Look, think of it like we're deleting. First, we have to go down here and chop off everybody down below this node, five. And once we've chopped off everybody below this node, now we can finally delete the node, five. Okay, come back up left, right, jump down here to 11. Okay. Left, right, down to this node. Left, right, middle. Okay, now finally we can print out 15. Come back up. We've done the left, done the right, come back up. Print out 11. Okay, done the, come back up. We've done the left subtree, done the right subtree. Finally, the root. Okay. So this is what a post-order traversal will look like. Now take a second and observe, these are all like totally different. And it's not like this is just the reverse of this or that sort of thing. You really have to know these algorithms. So think of them in terms of left, middle, right. And whenever you do that middle step, that's when you're gonna like print it out or whatever you need to do, okay? What is the big O of any traversal algorithm? Well, you have to visit every node. Right, you're visiting every node, so the big O of a traversal algorithm is always big O of n. Okay? All right, so let's step over to the code and implement, we'll just implement one of these. All right, so I'm gonna go, I'm over here in my tree map again, and I'm gonna scroll down a little bit, and I'm gonna find my traverse, let's do the in order traversal, right? Uh, so the in-order traversal performs an in-order traversal of the tree map to print each node. So that's what we're going to do when we hit the middle part, right? Note that stir is already defined for the tree node. So you can just print a node, okay? Do not print anything if the tree map is empty. All right, so let's work on this. Let's do our traversal. Um, first thing, let's handle the special case. Usually you want to handle those first. So if the tree map is empty, how do you know that the tree map is empty if its root is none? Don't do anything. So just let's get out of here. Let's return. Let's get out of dodge. Right? Otherwise, we're going to traverse the node, the tree. Now we're going to want, it'll be useful to us if we can um, have a node to kind of keep track of where we are in the tree. right? Um, now note that this can be called, the way it's defined, we can traverse in order. And we can traverse with on a node, like that will be our starting node that's passed in here, or this starting node could be none. Now the way I have this set up is that the starting node will be none if you call traverse on like the whole tree map, right? So something like tree map dot uh, traverse in order. Right. So that when you see a call like this, traverse in order should start at the root. Okay. So if node is let's let's make a node to kind of like help keep track of where we are. If cur uh, we'll set cur equal that's going to be our thing. So if node is none, then let's start traversing at the root. Okay. Otherwise, let's use um, the node as our starting point. This will support the recursive call, right? Because now, you know, as we start to descend the tree, we can call traverse in order with either a left child or a right child. All right? Let's see what that looks like. So we're going to do in order traversal. Remember, in order says left, middle, right, okay? So if there is a left child, right? If there is a left child, right? So you can say if is not none, if there is a left child for the current node, whatever that is, whether it's the root or some descendant in the root, wherever we are, if current.left is not none, then make your recursive call self dot 
traverse in order the left side. This descends the left side first. Right? Now once this returns, right? once this returns out or if cur.left is none, then there's no left child or we've already processed everything. So here is where we want to print left middle Do the left, do the middle, and now finally do the right side. Okay, But you only want to make the recursive call if there's actually a right or left subtree. If it's not there, you don't need to do anything. You, there's nowhere to descend down below. Right? Self.traverse in order cur.right. Okay? So if we've done this right, we should have some good tests here. Scroll up a little. All right, test eight in order traversal. This is what it expects. So I have created a tree and I have inserted a bunch of things. It looks like if I've inserted uh, the key Alice with the value 3333, three, 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 Banks with 123145, three, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I've got a little tree already baked in there and my traversal is successfully visiting them in the order that it's meant to be. Okay? So Wrap your head around the concept of a pre-order traverse or an in-order traversal. Let me know if you have any questions. By the way, traverse pre-order and traverse post-order are just variations on this theme, right? The big difference between pre-order and post-order is when you make your recursive call, are you going left, middle, right? For in-order, for pre-order, it's gonna be middle, left, right. For post-order, left, right, middle. Okay, so it's just the order that you do these things in will change up. All right, so that's traversal. Next time we'll go about searching this tree. After all, it's a binary search tree, probably time to search it.